Hi, cat. <laughs> Come and get some mango, baby. Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you're not doing well, I'm happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. I wanted to talk about 2023 and the planet associated with 2023. So 2023 is associated with the moon. Now, remember in the 2023 video that I recently did, I spoke about how, say, the two aspect within the year will bring our attention or our focus to say women nurturing when i think about the moon placements i think about say the things that we we hide hide away from the rest of the world because we don't feel safe to make that thing public or known i also think about how we hide ourselves because maybe there's this thing about us that we didn't see growing up we didn't see other people celebrate this thing it could be something as simple as wanting to be a wanting to be on youtube reading tarot or doing whatever it is that you might want to do and because you didn't see it growing up or it wasn't celebrated you were in the closet about it so when i think about the moon aspects to this year i think about reflecting on some things that were in the closet about and we could be in the closet about different things and something that I may be in the closet about to you might be nothing. Like for me, for the longest, I was in the closet about my love for this, my love for the occult divination, spirituality, because I didn't want to be misunderstood. And Fear of misunderstood is a big reason why we are in the closet about things because I think of the fourth house in astrology and how the fourth house is the lowest part of the astrological wheel. And it's at the lowest part because that space is sacred. We hide things there that mean something to us. The fourth house talks about the home, the family, the mother. It talks about a part of our personality that's hidden away from the rest of the world and only people who have the privilege and the honor to come all the way down to that hidden space gets to see all of that. So when I think of the year 2023, I think about how we're diving deep into what's in that hidden sacred space and how the things that are deep into that hidden sacred, sacred space and hidden from the rest of the world and reflections on why we hide ourselves away and is it beneficial for us to hide ourselves away because people could be outcasted and rejected by their families and the moon energy deals with the family people could be outcasted and rejected by communities and of course back in the day it could mean death to say that you're into certain things like this so when i think of that aspect of our lives i think about say the attention and the focus on that when it comes to say similarities between the moon and 2023 i think of how the moon energy and 2023 are both spiritual energy so this is a year of a lot of psychic experiences that we can all experience everybody having their own dark night of the soul moments to me a dark night of the soul moment is when the heart and the mind is out of balance the heart wanting to have a certain experience because the heart is ancient the art the, the heart knows all where the mind to me is like gravity it's the matrix it's on a system it's on a cycle and it'll keep us it'll keep us in a line with what's familiar with what's safe and stepping out of what's familiar or what's safe is terrifying so the heart might want a new experience like a new job or move to a new place and the mind is like no we don't know the people there we don't know what will happen when we go there we have no data we have no we have no experience 
of that. And more than anything, no one speaks highly of that. No one celebrates that. So there's this back and forth because the heart wants to go so badly and the mind is terrified of what happens. So turbulence happens within. So when I think of say the similarities, I think of the spiritual aspect between the moon and the moon and the number seven, but then the challenges that comes from say the, the, the dark night of the soul moments that we'll experience. So throughout this year, you can ha experience few dark nights of the soul moments. And I feel like the dark night of the soul moments will continue or last longer for the people who refuse to let go for the people who refuse to allow things to just flow because we have to force ourselves to police ourselves. This is where the mind constantly steps in and say, no, look around what's everybody else is what's everybody else doing and based on what everybody else is doing that's a great example and idea of what you're supposed to be doing but just like how we were taught to do that we can also learn to allow ourselves to be so for me i'll observe myself wanting to police myself and instead of policing myself i'll just allow myself to be but it took time for me to get there where it took time where I would keep policing myself until I would catch myself about to police myself and no longer police myself. So when it comes to say the blessings of this year, it can help us to allow ourselves to be because a lot of emotions is a lot of emotions will be like emotion will be a big thing this year because the moon is emotional and the mind can easily hide where it's some, it's hard to track what the mind is doing, but it's easy. If you follow the emotions, it's like the emotions are like breadcrumbs leading you to the treasure box. So your emotions are leading you to the thought process. So to me, the blessings this year is, is a, is our ability to get to the bottom is our ability to get to the bottom of certain thought processes that we have that are limiting because our mind is creating our reality because our mind to me is like a wind creating motion within the ocean and our emotions create our world. So it starts with the mind and then the mind creates these emotions and then the emotion is like a magnet. So it's like, imagine your emotion is a huge magnet and whatever emotion you're feeling has degrees like temperature. So say your emotions is at 48 degrees and 48 degrees might be sadness. So everything that holds that 48 degree is going to be attracted to you and it's going to mirror you. So it's like 48 degrees of sadness. And I'm not saying 48 degrees is sadness. That's just the thought that came to mind. So when I go back to say the number 48, I say that say that's the temperature of sadness. So if we're at 48 degrees, we're going to attract other things that are at 48 degrees. This is where your friend will call you up when they're also at 48 degrees because the magnet within them is attracted to the magnet within you. So you guys get on the phone and you might have totally different experiences, but emotionally the experiences make you feel the same way. So where we're feeling is how we're feeling helps us to see what we're thinking. So the blessings within this year helps us to create clarity within our lives when it comes to our home, our family, our friends, the things we hold near and dear, but also more than anything, the way we're holding ourselves back out of fear of being misunderstood, rejected, or judged. With the moon energy associated with the mother, we can find ourselves like getting to the bottom of issues within our relationships with our mothers, making that relationship better or come to some kind of realization when it comes to that, coming to some kind of conclusion when it comes to that. Also too, when it comes to say this energy and the emotional aspect of it, when it comes to say the moon and you know, our emotions and how our emotions create our world. A lot of us feel uncomfortable to put emphasis on emotions because we were thought we were taught emotions aren't real. And yes, emotions are real because emotions are the, are the reflection of our thoughts. And it is through our emotions, we can get to the bottom of our thoughts. So when we attract certain people within our lives and we might say, this person seems so negative, 
you guys feel the same way about something, why the magnetic energy pulled you together. So for me with, you know, using my feelings as magnets or becoming aware that my feelings are magnets, I'm able to look around at what I'm attracting to see where my mind is so that I can do more of that or do less of that. And when it comes to say shaking up vibrations, music, and laughter is really good when it comes to say shifting energy, shifting energy and creating a neutral space. So when it comes to say the energies within 2023, you definitely want to make the most of this by doing shadow work around the mother, the family and the mind. But more than anything, the things that you fear and how they're restricting your reality and you can tell how what your thought process your thought processes are around all of these things based on how you're feeling when i woke up today i wasn't feeling my best today is thursday and jupiterian energy is amplifying the day so when i woke up i wasn't feeling my best and that was so loud so what did i do i sat down at my desk i pulled my journal out and i started pouring my heart out about how i was feeling i was completely brutally honest and from me pouring my heart out it's almost like i felt a sense of release and reset i needed to get all of that out of me so that i could begin my day and in the process of pouring all of that out of me i was able to realize how ridiculous some of the things sound and how fear false of that false evidence appearing to be real was influencing certain things. And I was able to release all of that and have a good day. So throughout this year, your journal will be your best friend. Some people like to write things down and some people might like to turn on their recording and speak into it. Oh my goodness. Is that what I think it is? Oh, wow. So those are Egyptian geese and uh, they're my favorite birds. To me, they're like the lions of the birds like i like the way how they conduct themselves i like the way how they protect family and nurture family i remember i remember one time i i was observing them because for years when i first moved to florida i was so fascinated by them and i would sit there and just observe them and i remember this guy was walking his dog and he like release the leash so the dog could get room to mess with the birds and the dog ran after the birds and the mother gathered all the babies in the water and the father bird turned around and started like attacking the dog like flying up and like picking down at it and the mother once the mother had all the the babies in the center of the pond she got between the father and the babies and was like a backup helping the father geese to like attack the dog but just the male geese alone was enough for the dog like the dog did not want the smoke and what i love about these birds is that they mate for life and i was excited when i saw two of them because for the longest i've only been seeing one and they're super loud like you know they're around because you can hear them but i've only been seeing one and to look out and see two and they had a bunch of babies with them i got excited because i love when i see them because they represent a few things to me they represent confidence because whenever i walk by them like they're observing me but the way like their posture and their confidence is just something that i admire i love that they mate for life and i love the way how like they're community oriented which ties back into say the moon aspect of this year so when i think about them and how aggressive they could be with each other it brings me to how we have misunderstandings we have arguments we have disagreement but at the end of the day it comes down to knowing like what's important and family is important sometimes it's not always the family that you were born with but the family that you created and for me personally i like when a connection can have confrontation what i mean by that is 
you're able to say how you feel about something I've done and I'm able to express myself and together we're able to struggle until we have some understanding where for me in connections, when people tiptoe and act like things don't happen, when I come across people like that, I back up. I take two steps back till I'm out the door and go the next way because I feel like in situations like that, it's like a breeding ground for just toxic behavior. And to me, toxic is when people are doing something negative, not wanting to acknowledge it to make, make it better. Where for me, confrontation makes things better because people get to defend themselves, express themselves, and often realize that there was a misunderstanding. So yeah, when it comes to the year 2023 and its association with the planet, with the moon, this is a year for deep shadow work and observing the emotions. Like I love to say, pain is a bookmark that holds space for transformation. So this is a great year to pay attention to how you feel about certain things and question those feelings to get to the thought process that created those feelings. And either you, for me, I like to debunk my thought processes by questioning it and, you know, question it enough to realize, okay, this makes absolutely no sense. And then redirect that way of thinking. So it no longer controls my world. Like I remember when I came to the realization that no one has life figured out in the sense that when it comes to say religion, for example, or even where we came from as beings, collectively, we cannot come together and agree upon where we came from and where we're going next. So for me, that shows that no one knows, like no one knows something like that, that we should know. So no one knows. So because no one knows I'm open I'm open to other, I'm open to everything, but I'll follow nothing blindly. So it's okay for me to believe what it is that I want to believe and live my life in a way that makes me happy and brings peace to me. So for me asking those questions and questioning certain thoughts, I was able to free myself by just looking around and realizing no one has anything figured out. So me living my life the way how I want to, you know, that's the best thing I can do. Life is all about experiences. And as long as I am having new experiences and allowing myself to be, I am living my best life. On Patreon, I put up a video about 2023 and how it affects your moon placements. You want to look to see what house your moon is in to see the area of your life that is highlighted in the year of 2023. So pay attention to the area of your life that the moon is in and the sign that the moon is in. When it comes to say this year, that's where you want to like do a lot of your observa observation, watch different videos, but more than anything, be a student of yourself, be a scientist and study yourself, study your emotions because the moon deals with that. But the sign that it's in the area, the area of your life that it's in also and how you can make that better. You guys, if you'd like to check me out on Patreon or book a natal chart reading, the links for that is in the description box below. If you're still here with me, I'd love to hear about it. Please let me know by dropping me a purple heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you. Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.